Here comes the field for tonight's seventh race with about six minutes till post time. Number one, High Elvis, owned by Larry Fullen, Bob Harper drives. Number two is Pat Surprise, owned by Chad Folk with Jeff Fout. Number three is Bon Jour, owned by Keith Noble and David Miller. Four, Sand Noises, owned by Charlie Dillander. Randy Tharps will be aboard. Five, Dance Director, owned by Dale Strasbaugh with Justin Hall. Six, Noble Design, owned by Tim Humrick, Tanya Ledford, Mike Wilder. Seven, My Last Bid, leased by Gene Humphrey and a driver change again to Don Feaster. Eight is Laser Rev Rack, owned by Steve Hodge. Darren Melzer, nine, Blasted, owned and driven by Ron Taubert. Number 10, Dare to Hum, owned by James Novak and Michael Ogle. Phil Cunningham will be in the sulky. Don Feaster to drive seven, my last bid, five minutes till post time. I'd like to welcome some people from California. Field is now in motion. And there they go. They're off and pacing outside, my last bid, Noble Design, Philly, and Pat Surprise. Here's Laser, Rev Rack, middle of the racetrack, and High Elvis along the rail, fifth, they're down the back stretch. Dare to hum and bonjour, sand noises. As they make their way to the top turn, dance director in the trailer is blasted. Too deep to the quarter mile pole. Along the rail now taking over command, three parts of a length, my last bid. Here comes Noble Design up on the outside, a sparkling 27 and three. Racing past the stands to the half mile pole. Noble Design is back on top by two. My last bid racing second. The little horse Pat Surprise grinds to third. Around the clubhouse turn, laser rev rack fourth, high Elvis the fifth. Dare to hum, ready to set sail from the rail and bonjour comes to the outside as they move around the penthouse turn. Here comes Sand Noises, saving ground, dance director is ninth, blasted is tenth. They're at the half in 58. They're out of the turn and down the back stretch. Noble design, here's Pat Surprise swinging up on the outside, second. Underway again, Laser Rev Rack. My last bid can't sustain his bid. Leaving the five eights, heading to three quarters. Driving up on the far outside, High Elvis to fifth. Middle of the racetrack. Sand noises, they race by three quarters. Still in command by a neck along the rail. Noble design in 127 and two. Noble design, here comes Dare to Hum, flying out of mid pack. Dare to Hum on the outside now gets the lead. Bonjour moves with him, fighting back along the rail, Noble Design. Off the turn, in the stretch, they're on their way home. Dare to Hum brings them home. It's Dare to Hum. Bonjour in the center. Noble Design, Bonjour has jumped off stride. This one's wide open now. It's Dare to Hum. Noble Design, the one's going to get their third high, Elvis. Here's the unofficial winner of the seventh race, 10, Dare to Hum. Four-year-old bay horse by Dare You Two out of Beams, Huntingburg. Owned by James Novak and Mike Ogle of Plain City in Westerville. Driven and trained by Phil Cunningham. Covering that mile here in 156 and three, and that's a lifetime best for number 10, Dare to Hum. The unofficial winner of tonight's third race, the inquiry sign is up right now. Is going to involve the unofficial winner, number 10, Dare to Hum, possible interference at the three quarters. Judges' inquiry, please hold all tickets. They want to review by videotape that portion of tonight's seventh race. The inquiry sign is up. Please hold all tickets. Folks, coming up next on the closed circuit TV monitors will be the incident on the backstretch with the resulting disqualification. Here it comes right now. You're going to see driver Phil Cunningham in the 10 dare to come. Third back on the outside. Now come to the extreme outside. Wheel does touch the left front leg of number three, Bonjour, forcing driver David Miller to take up and go to the outside. And for that incident on the back stretch, number 10, Dare to Hum, first disqualified and placed behind Bonjour. Comes to the outside, catches the left front leg, very visible there. 
David Miller had to snatch his horse up, tape back, and go to the outside. And for that, number 10, Dare to Hum, was disqualified from first. In the winner's circle is Noble Design, the placed winner, a four-year-old bay gelding by Noble and Sam out of Fashions by Neville. Owned in Miamisburg and Beecher, Illinois, by Tim Humrick and Tanya Ledford. Trained by Selden Ledford. Driven by Mike Wilder, the placed winner, number six, Noble Design. Post time in 13 minutes.